Gaussian surface is the cylindrical surface. Now let us consider this is a cylinder. Cylinder has the what to say circular surface. Now second circular surface and there is a lateral surface. Now we want to calculate, we want to calculate the flux passing through the AD surface, flux passing through the BC surface and flux passing through the lateral surface. Therefore, now total flux phi is equal to right? flux passing through the AD. Next, flux passing through BC. Next, flux passing through Right, A, B, C, D. Now, flux passing through the AD surface, flux passing through the BC surface, flux passing through the, that is A, B, C, D lateral surface. Now, now, phi of AD, I want to calculate. This is the circular surface. circular surface. Now this is called, here in this case, what is the radius? R. Now this is the area, this is the area, right? At this point, what is the electric field intensity? E. Now what is the area vector? This is the area vector. That is N cap is the area vector. What is the area? Yes. Now this is the closed surface, area vector is the outward normal, area magnitude is S and at this point electric field intensity is like this. What is the angle between them? Theta is equal to 90 degrees. Now here in this case the flux is equal to closed integral of EDS that implies flux passing through AD is equal to closed integral of E right ds cos theta cos theta theta is equal to 90 degrees theta is equal to 90 degrees as theta is equal to 90 degrees therefore total flux is equal to 0 next one what is the flux passing through that is BC surface now BC surface BC surface is also a circular surface. Therefore, what is the general formula? Phi is equal to closed integral of closed integral of E ds E bar dot ds bar that implies that is phi is equal to closed integral of E ds cos theta. Now, therefore, that implies flux passing through the BC surface, flux passing through the BC surface, closed integral of, here BC surface, this is the BC surface. What is the radius of the surface? R is the radius of the surface. Now at this point, what is the electric field intensity? E bar. Whenever this is the area, what is the area vector? The area vector like this. What is the area magnitude? Yes. Now, what is the flux passing through the BC? BC is the circular surface. Circular surface area pi r square that is represented by S yes, which is called area magnitude. Area vector is area vector is perpendicular to the area. Therefore now that area vector is the outward normal. Now here theta is equal to 90 degrees. Theta is equal to 90 degrees. Now E ds cos theta is equal to cos 90 is again is equal to 0. Now next one what is the flux passing through the ABCD? ABCD. Now the flux passing through the ABCD. Now the ABCD is the lateral surface. Lateral surface. 
lateral surface now this is the lateral surface lateral surface this is the lateral surface now at this point what is the electric field intensity electric field intensity is e now let us consider a small area this is the small area ds small area is ds now that is area vector is n cap right now this is called lateral surface lateral surface on the lateral surface let us consider a small area whose magnitude is ds whose vector is outward normal at this point electric field intensity is also radially outward then what is the angle between these two theta is equals to zero now here in this case phi is equals to what is the general formula that is closed integral of e bar dot ds is equals to that implies phi is equals to closed integral of e dot e ds what to say cos theta now here in this case that is closed integral of e ds cos theta cos 0 that equals to that is closed integral of e ds cos 0 is equals to 1 that equals to e into closed integral of ds here closed integral of ds represents the total area of the lateral surface this closed integral of ds the total lateral surface of the cylinder now flux is equals to flux is equals to that equals to e into total area that is total area is that is lateral surface of the cylinder that is 2 pi r into l the lateral surface area of the cylinder e is equals to 2 pi r l now what is the flux passing through the lateral surface that is a b c d that is here is also a b c d therefore flux passing through the ad circular surface zero flux passing through the bc circular surface zero flux passing through the cylindrical surface a b c d is equals to what to say this is e into 2 pi r therefore what is the total flux therefore total flux total flux that is phi is equals to that is phi of a b plus phi of b c phi of b c plus phi of a b c d that is phi of a b is equals to 0 phi of b c is equals to 0 flux through the abcd e into that is e into 2 pi r l therefore the total flux is equals to e into that is 2 pi r l therefore what is the total flux passing through the gaussian cylindrical surface e phi is equals to e into 2 pi r l now next one according to the gas law now what is the gas law according to the gas law that is phi is equals to right q by epsilon naught therefore phi is equals to 2 by epsilon naught here phi is equals to e into 2 pi r into l therefore e into that is 2 pi r into l is equals to q by epsilon naught therefore e is equals to e is equals to q by 2 pi r into l into epsilon naught this may be rearranged as q by l into 2 pi r epsilon naught therefore e is equals to q by l is equals to what do you say linear charge density that is lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught r therefore this is the expression e is equals to lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught into r where lambda is the linear charge density 2 pi is a constant epsilon naught is the electrical permittivity of air r is the radial distance r is the perpendicular distance